Hello everybody and welcome to the Whiskey Dictionary where I do the research to try to teach you a little something about what you're drinking. I'm going to be continuing tonight with my craft distillery series. Now I've already covered the bourbon from Cedar Ridge, but tonight I'm going to be covering the single malt. Now this is made of 100% malted barley and it's finished in a variety of different barrels. Now here's the thing, Cedar Ridge originally came from, or started from people who had run a winery for a very long time. And it's uh, not a far leap to assume that a lot of those barrels were X wine barrels. Now they finished them in those barrels and then moved this over to a Solera system, which I haven't talked about on this channel before, but if you're interested to look it up, feel free. Other than that, if I someday down the line do a video on Solera systems and different stills and whatnot, I'll put a link up there. So that being said, this does sit through a Solera system and they end up marrying all of those different barrels together in that system and producing this. It does make for a considerably different taste than what you could get from just a single barrel. So let's go right into the nosing and the tasting here. Love that pop. <laughs> So if you're enjoying these craft distilleries uh, episodes, remember to hit that like button and subscribe. I try to do these every few Wednesdays or so. Um, I have a fairly large backlog of, of uh, craft distillery whiskeys that I need to get through. And actually it's, it's funny how much I was stressing about how I wanted to get these done. I have a very hard life. <laughs> so anyway, let's go ahead and give this a nose. So the nose on this is an interesting one. And uh, those of you who have watched the episode on the bourbon before, um, you know, the bourbon's fairly subtle nose. This is not that. This is a much more defined nose. The first thing I got out of here, and I'm gonna actually have to find a new image for it, was Dutch apple pie. Now, if you've ever had Dutch apple pie, it's got these weird little crumbly things on top. Almost think of like, like a hostess uh, crumb cake. It's almost like those, except way better, obviously. So you've got that. And then you've got uh, maraschino cherries. Now, not the kind that you put on a Sunday, not the bright red, totally nothing in nature looks like that red cherries. The ones that you kind of put in a cocktail that are a little bit more black looking. This smells like when you open a jar of those. So I'm sure a lot of that is coming from the wine, presumably. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and give this a taste. Cheers. Yeah, that's American single malt all the way. Um, it's definitely finished in some sort of wine barrel, no doubt about it. Uh, my man, Eric Waite, could probably tell you exactly what kind of wine, but uh, I am not a wine sommelier, so I will leave that to, to him. Uh, if you've never checked out Eric Waite's channel, he covers whiskeys and wines, but he's got two separate channels. I'll put links down in the description for those if you're interested. So the items that I'm getting out of here, um, you're getting, kind of like a leathery taste, which is, is pretty cool. I do always like when that shows up. So you got leather, vanilla, um, very, very malty for sure. Um, and a little bit of an orange, but there's kind of like this other little thing that I can't identify and what it, it's definitely coming from some sort of like a red wine, um, like without a doubt. I just don't know enough to be able to describe it well on camera, so sorry. Um, it's almost like a dry tannin -y, kind of like what you'd get with oak, but different. Like think of if you drank a Shiraz, um, or yeah, that, that'd be fine. Um, something like that where it's got that dry tannin -y thing going on. So anyway, overall, this is a much better whiskey than the bourbon. <laughs> and I'm, I'm sorry if the Cedar Ridge people are, are watching this and I know that you guys love your bourbon, but I also know that you love your single malt. So to some degree, I'm sure you're happy. The, the single malt is much better. So this is what I'm gonna suggest. This bottle is $50, whereas this one is $40, roughly 42, somewhere in there. This is like 53. So I'm gonna put a link in the description below and I don't get a kickback from this. I just think it might be a good idea. There is a collection of the Cedar Ridge whiskeys and there's five of them. There's a, uh, along with these two, there's a malted rye, a regular rye, and then a 100% wheat, which I tried and that was pretty cool too. I actually tried all five of them. I, I liked it as a, a core, I liked the whole line, honestly. Um, even with what I was saying about the bourbon, it still is not a bad whiskey, it's just, this is better. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna put a link down in the description below and I want you to check it out. It's limited time though, so, and I did see that. So if you're finding this video like a year from now, it's probably sold out or maybe it's not, who knows. 
Either way, it's got five different offerings, all 200 milliliters, and it's $75 for the package. I think that's the way to go. Instead of buying one of these two, now the problem is I think it's only available in California, Florida, Illinois, Massachusetts, uh, Michigan, New Jersey, and Texas, so not everywhere whereas the normal bottles are available in 17 states. So make up your own mind on that. Personally, I'm very happy to have this bottle and I will definitely drink this whole thing. Um, this one, I may very well give away to somebody. So that does it here for Cedar Ridge, and unless they choose to send me any more bottles, which I'm not sure if this has been a glowing review or not, but we'll see how many of those uh, the limited edition things we sell for them. So anyway, thank you very much for joining me here on The Whiskey Dictionary. Cheers night with my craft distillery series. Now I've already talked about the Cedar Ridge bourbon and tonight I'm going to be talking about their what am I doing with my hands? Mm. 